Hey guys, it's Freddy with H Town Model Shop, and today I finally finished the Zombie Smasher. So, as y'all remember, or for the the people who have not uh, seen my latest videos, the Zombie Smasher is based on the uh, '97 Ford Explorer, and I originally bought this kit as a junkyard kit. So, let me show you what I did with it. And there she is, guys. Finally finished. And I'm, I hope this lighting here helps out. Uh, I have my, my room shop light turned off. Because uh, it overpowers this light here. And I, I, I have a feeling that... Uh, it's going to turn out kind of dark on, on the monitors, but we'll see how it goes. If y'all have a trouble seeing this, uh, let me know and I'll make another video. So anyways, let me uh, take you around the truck real quick. Uh, if y'all remember, the uh, spotlights in the back are from the GMC snowplow kit. <clears throat> As are the uh, roof rails. Those were actually the bed rails. And uh, the tires are, the wheels are um, the Tamiya set, uh, 36 millimeter diameter. And if you're looking for them, it is part number or item number 70101 360. <clears throat> um, so real quick, I added the spikes as well. That those were beads, spiked beads, and uh, the secondary armor that's on the door panels or on the door. Sorry, on the exterior door is uh, on both sides are the interior door panels to a thirty-one uh, rat rod Ford rat rod that I did. Um, Last year, the beginning of last year, I believe, I chopped the top and opened the doors, but I left the door panels out. So, uh, the rocket mortar launchers, uh, scratch built those, uh, painted them flat black and hit them up with some uh, pigment, some uh, gunmetal pigment. I use a lot of gunmetal pigment to kind of make everything pop here since I was using a lot of black. Um... If you can see, I lightly brushed it on <clears throat> the uh, ribs of that uh, armor. I brushed it on the spikes for the wheels and on the tips for the mortars, so, so they could look like they were they've been used. Um, I also used. Uh, some here on the actual spikes itself. And then I got a bug. So, anyways, uh, I used the uh, gun metal on the spikes. And as you can see, it looks like a, it's a flat black barrel with steel spikes on it. That's how I achieved that. And I also used it on the piston for the uh, the shock here. And on the springs itself, it just kind of makes it pop a little bit better. So um, I used it on the front part of this contraption here. The the actual frame itself, I did scratch build that, but all the little parts I got off of the snowplow kit as well, because I'm I'm not gonna use this, the snowplow for anything anyway. So I just chopped it up and I put it on here. Uh, the lights both rear and the front lenses I went ahead and I uh, used the clear red and clear orange from Tamiya on the, on the inside and um, glued them on with some uh, micro crystal clear and then I hit it I brushed on some uh, clear smoke from Tamiya as well to kind of give the headlights the black blacked out look or the smoke look to make it go with the whole the whole theme of the truck here 
Um, so the skid plate is down there, guys, but you might not be able to tell it from here. I did drill some holes and stuff on it, and maybe at the end of the video, I'll I'll, uh, I'll show it. Uh, none of my stuff is glued down. None of well, the the cab is not glued down to the actual frame. Um, I, I never like to do that because if something breaks or falls off from the inside, you can always take it apart and refix it and then just put it back together. So, <clears throat> but um, so let's keep going here. The mesh, of course, you know that that's the uh, wire form. Um, the steel plate here. I went ahead and I hit it up with some of that that uh, gunmetal pigment as well as you can see it just gives it an overall appearance like a just makes it pop i guess if you will so and then of course another you know, barbed wire i made that scratch built that um as well with some regular beading wire, I believe is what it, what it is. Uh, the chain and I added the chain and of course the skull, but I also added the uh, hit the uh, ball hitch ball. That's a, a resin piece that I had. Uh, I think the skull kind of gives it the death look. Well, besides besides the big old smasher rolling smasher over here in front, but. Anyways, uh, that's it guys. I hope y'all enjoy it and I'm already running on 7 minutes. And uh, sorry for keeping you so long. And I hope I kept your interest at least this long with the build. So, uh, y'all have any questions guys, y'all give me a holler. Um, but uh, I want to thank uh, Dr. Cranky for giving me some... Uh, some uh, useful uh, advice and tips um, with the uh, painting. This is my first time using the model uh, model color, the Vallejo uh, model color. Uh, just shot it through my airbrush and it worked like a charm. So again, thanks Doc and uh, I hope y'all guys like it because this is one for my books. For sure. So, anyways, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Going on eight minutes now. So, thanks for keep, for uh, keep uh, keeping up with me and uh, watching uh, all my videos and stuff. And thanks for my new subscribers and all the comments that I received. You know, just y'all guys give me the motivation to keep going. And honestly, uh, you know. That's what it takes, uh, you know, for the community to come together and, you know, uh, make, you know, make everyone feel like, like they're do doing a good job. So anyways, guys, uh, thanks for uh, everything and I hope everyone has a great week.